And the message the Lord has for us today is entitled, Be Connected to God. Hallelujah. Be connected to God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be connected to God. And as you are here in His presence, we are going to read the Word of God with you together. And when I finish at verse 30, one, you may sit down. Isaiah chapter 40. I'm going to read verse 27 to 31. Isaiah chapter 40. 27 to 31. Isaiah 40. 27 to 31. Being connected to God. Praise the Lord. Father, once again, I say thank you. I honor you. I exalt you. I appreciate you because you are good. And your mercy endure forever. Your compassion, they are new every morning. And we are here to say, Father, thank you. For giving us this opportunity once again to speak about the goodness of the Lord. Let your word, Lord, proceed with power, Amen. strength, Amen. with authority, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give your people understanding to your word, Amen. and they will not go back home as they have come to me. Amen. And they will live here blessed, Amen. strengthened, Amen. and enlightened by the living word of God. Amen. I thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. As a servant of the living God, I yield my spirit to you, God. That you may use me as his places you. Amen. And let your name alone be praised. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, from verse 30, 27 to 31, I read with you. And may you be blessed as you listen. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my ways? is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Amen. Amen. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. Amen. Amen. He will not grow tired or weary. And his understanding, no one can foretold. Hallelujah. Amen. 29. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary, and the young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. Amen. They will walk and not be fainted. May the name of God be praised. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the living God. Amen. Brothers and sisters, be connected to God. You know, Jacob and the people of Israelites, they were struggling. They were struggling. From the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, read from verse 1 all the way to the end. They were going through struggles, difficulties, challenges here and there. So one moment, they all begin to complain. Just as we all do sometimes. Yeah. So when they all begin to complain, they ask themselves, Has God forgotten me? Has God neglected me? They ask themselves this question. 
Amen. Amen. And one woman they said to themselves, it's like God has disregarded me and my problems, my difficulties, my challenges, it's like it's hidden from the eyes of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was their worries. That was what they were disturbed about. Because they asked themselves, is God not seeing what I am going through? So in other words, God, where are you? God, are you sleeping? Or is my waste and my problems and my struggle has somebody blocked it that God will not see to come for my aid? Hallelujah. Amen. So when you read from the verse 27, it says, why do you complain, Jacob? It sounds like they are complaining. Amen. Amen. Why do you say, Israel, my ways is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Amen. Amen. So, there were some prize that it's like God is not seeing what they are going through. And sometimes, we all have this moment in our life whereby Sometimes I ask God, are you there? If you are there, why wait for all this problem for me to go through all this? We all go through, we all ask this question sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you even think that maybe God no longer cares about you. Or God has abandoned you. Praise the Lord. Then you ask yourself, God, where are you? Are you seeing what I'm going through? That they are about to crucify me. Where are you to come for my aid? We ask these questions. And the same thing they were asking is the same thing that sometimes me and you will also ask. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But Moses said, you know something? While they were struggling, while they were going through difficulties, God was seeing it. God was aware. Yes. But it was not coming to help them. That made them to ask themselves, God, where are you? Are you going to wait for them to destroy me before you come for my aid? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At the same time, he said, but God, you are the everlasting God. In other words, it's not bound to time or space. But if you are the everlasting God, why wait to allow my enemies to oppress me? We all have this challenge in our ears. Yes. We all ask sometimes, it's like God don't know that care for me. We all ask sometimes, it's like God is not interested in what concerns me. But at the same time, I said, but you are the everlasting God. God is not bound to time. He is the beginning and he is the end. For he said, he is the everlasting God. So everything begins with him and everything what ends with him. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Which is your beginning was known to God. Yes. And where me and you are is also known to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, in verse 28, do you not no, have you not heard that the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will never grow what? Will. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, I am not what? Worry myself. For he will surely come for me and you, our rescue. Amen. But when we are going through the struggle, it does not look like God is even aware. When we are going through the pain, it does not look like God is even interested in saving you and me. Amen. Amen. Some are waiting for years for one thing or the other. It's like God is not hearing their prayer. Some are fasted. Some are prayed. Some are still waiting. His things are still not yet changing. And they think and feel like God has abandoned me. 
Disappointment upon disappointment. God, where are you? Do I have a witness here? Yes, Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. We cannot pretend on this. We all are humans. We ask this question, God, why now again? Me again? Why God? Where did I went wrong? Is it my past sins that is catching up to me, God, that I have asked for forgiveness? What did I do that God, you cannot overlook like you have overlooked others? They keep on oppressing me each and every day of my life. God, where are you? We feel like God has neglected us, disregarded us, is not interested in anything that concerns me or concerns you any longer. But at the same time, he said, But God, you are the everlasting one, God, the creator of the ends of the earth. In other words, the stars in heaven, he created them. And secondly, he named them each one by name. One by one. Hallelujah. And he saw his victory that none of the stars will fall on our head. How powerful and how great is our God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we are going through struggles. Mm -hmm. And he tells us that the Lord never grew weary. Mm -hmm. Which is, he has not gone asleep. Mm -hmm. Which is, he's not yet, he's not tired. Or to say that maybe the Lord is tired today, that's why I could not hear my prayer. Mm -hmm. Say the Lord has not grown up. Well. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes it looks like the Lord is even working against you. Or you have allowed some people to oppress you. He has allowed them to oppress you. That is how sometimes it looks to rest. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's like He gives them the space and opportunity to frustrate your life. Then we ask ourselves, God, are you there? Mm -hmm. If you are there, please put an end to this pain I'm going through. Mm -hmm. We ask ourselves, God, if you are there, come for my rescue. Because you are the everlasting God. Oh. You created the heaven and the earth. Yes. And the stars in heaven, mm -hmm. each star has their own name. And you see through it that those stars will not fall on our head. Mm -hmm. How powerful and how wonderful you are. Yes. And your word said, the Lord never grew weary. Praise the Lord. In the book of Psalm 130, verse 5, he said, I hope in the Lord. My whole being wait upon the Lord. For in his name, in his name, in his word, I put my hope. Somebody open it. For reference. Psalm 430, verse 5 and 6. And if you are there, please, don't waste time. Read for us. 130, from verse 5 and 6. Yes. He says, I wait for the Lord. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. Indeed. And in his word, I put my hope. In his word, I put my hope. I wait for the Lord. Mm -hmm. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Yes. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Amen. Israel, put your hope in the Lord. Israel, put your hope in the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Brethren, that is what some of us we are still doing. Yes. We hope in the Lord with our whole being. Amen. And in his word, we put our hope. Amen. In his word, in his word, we put our hope. Just as Job put it, he said, I look to the north, I couldn't find the Lord. I look to the east, to the west, I couldn't find him either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I kept looking. I kept the faith. I kept looking. I kept the faith. I kept on praying. At the end, because he was connected to God, the Lord came for his rescue. Clap your hand for Jesus. Amen. We are heading somewhere. While you are waiting, the Lord will bring struggle along your way. Amen. And the struggle that comes along your way, it brings you two thinking. That two thinking, you can be confused whether God is aware 
And the other one, you ask yourself, when is God coming to save me out of these problems? Then the third thing, Satan will come in. Go outside God and seek for what? Other alternative. But brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, people of House of Worship Ministry, with the pure evidence that you have got to some of you, when you are going through struggle and difficulties and challenges, it's not the time to run away from God. But it's rather the time to run together to who? To God in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's not the time to run away from God in your struggle. When you do that, you are giving space to the enemy to finish you on what he started. And may that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Job said, I look left, right, east, north, west, south. I couldn't find God when I was going through pain. What was the pain he was going through? He had been inflicted with deadly diseases. Even his own wife said, Cast God and die. That is the third taken. Cast God and die because that God does not care for you. The people of Israel, they also said, God has forgotten us. Our problem is hidden from God. When they say your problem is hidden from God, the person who is oppressing you and is causing you pain, you are serving God at the same time. And you ask yourself, it's like God is not aware of what I'm going through. Yeah. It's hidden. Something is hidden. Your pain, your trouble, your struggle from God to the sense that if God is really seeing it, He should have put an end to it. But I believe that He's not seeing it. That's why you allow it to linger and linger and linger. Then I ask myself, God, where are you? At the same time, Job said, but when I look left, east, north, west, south, and I could not find him, I still kept on the faith. I still kept on what? The faith. And I kept on praying. The Bible said, those who wait upon the Lord, the Lord will give them what? New strength. Those who wait upon the Lord, the Lord will give them what? New strength. And now, what does he mean? Waiting upon the Lord. Ask your neighbor, what does he mean? What does what he mean? Waiting upon the Lord. One more time. What does it mean you waiting upon the Lord? Does it mean I should sit down and relax <laughs> and never do nothing and wait for man to fall from heaven? Amen. Amen. Or should I put my faith to work? Faith without work is what? Yes. Faith without work is what? Yes. And the Bible says it is impossible to please God without what? Yes. Oh, I know when you are preaching with me together. Clap your hand for Jesus. Clap your hand for Jesus. Praise the Lord. It is impossible to please God without what? Yes. Amen. Amen. He said, I should wait upon the Lord. Waiting upon the Lord, but I'm still waiting and nothing is happening. <laughs> and I think that that God is sleeping. Mm -hmm. So now I want to help myself. Mm -hmm. But I cannot continue to wait and wait and die in my pain. Mm -hmm. That is how I feel. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. We all have this type of feelings mm -hmm. and thought. Yeah. Because Satan always whispers in our ears mm -hmm. and tells us, look for other alternative. Help yourself. When God is ready, you will know that you are smarter than you think. Amen? Amen. So while waiting upon the Lord, he said the Lord will do what? Renew your strength. But when you go outside God, when you go outside God and you don't wait upon him, you know your strength will know what? Be renewed. So, I repeat it again. It said, those who wait upon the Lord, shall the Lord renew their strength. Amen. And we read from the book of Psalm 130, verse 5. And I wait upon the Lord. My whole being wait upon the Lord. And in Him, I put my hope. Amen. So, waiting upon the Lord does not justify when it's delayed, okay. and you go outside God to help yourself. Mm -hmm. Which is, while you are waiting, put your prayer to work. Mm -hmm. 
When you are seeking for work, you pray that God help you for work and you don't go for the house in the room to apply for work. Will the work come to you? No, no, no. Putting your faith to work. To work. When you say you want to be married, you want the man to love you or accept you, even though it's not the person that's supposed to marry you and you see a man and you frown your face, will the real one who like to speak to you, when you see you, will the real one speak to you? No. 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 Put your faith to work. To work. Yes. And when you are still with your husband and you are always beating him and fighting him, will that man one day not wake up and run away from you? Clap for Jesus. Amen. So when you are putting your faith to work, you have to act on his word. He said, in your word, I put what? My hope. In your word, I put what? My hope. Not in your own mind. That is why sometimes we make silly, silly mistakes. When we begin to believe in our mind and go outside God, to seek for eternity. Then you see what the journey you are going to make. You are going to make a journey that you return back again to the same thing. <laughs> in the beginning. But while your struggle and your difficulties, it's a trial moment to you and me. It's a testing what? Moment to you and me. So while the Lord is testing you through this trial moment, and you could not wait upon him, he said, let me help myself. You go outside God to search for help. They won't give you help. Right. You'll rather complicate your life. Am I on point? Yes, yes, sir. They won't give you his help, but they'll rather complicate our life. So true. So true. Amen. 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 And not only complicate our life, they make things more difficult for us. And those of us that will go outside God to seek for alternative, it means that we don't trust first in it. We don't trust God in the first place. Yeah. Am I on point? Yes, it means that we have never trusted God for the first place. Because if I have trusted God from the first place, I don't need to go outside God to search for alternative. I should believe that. Maybe you are even an inch or a year closer to your blessing. I feel like we go outside God's premises to seek for alternative. Then what is closer become what? Longer. Are we together? Yes. Clap yes. for Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he said, waiting upon the Lord, it means that put your faith and your belief and your word and your hope in the Lord. Amen. And act on his word. And anything apart from that, don't do it. Because he said, have you not had? That the Lord is the everlasting God. He's the creator of the ends of the earth. Amen. He knows all things. Mm -hmm. Every the hair on your head, He knows them. Yeah. And He can count them. Hallelujah. How great and mighty our God is. Amen. Brothers and sisters, when you go into the Bible, and I'll give you an example. These examples are many children of God that the Lord, that were connected in their struggle, that the Lord tends to some money for them. Amen. 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 No, no one. No one. Have to wait upon the Lord before he built what? The ark. Even yeah. like a matter of fact, a time came, he could no longer build it. That God had to send those fallen angels, those demons. Mm -hmm. God had to send those demons to help Noah to complete the act. Mm -hmm. yeah. For your information. Mm -hmm. Noah was not able to build it. Yeah. It was those fallen, rebellious angels mm -hmm. that caused commotion in heaven. Mm -hmm. The same God used them to help Noah to complete yeah. the act. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was those. At the end of the day, he still connected and God's purpose and promises was fulfilled in the life of what? Sarah had 
have also waited for many years for the promised child to be what? To be fulfilled. While he was waiting for many years, all the mistakes that she made, at the end of the day, she still remained what? Connected to God. At the end of the day, the promise was what? Fulfilled. Because she stayed what? Connected to the source of the blessing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Joseph has to also wait longer in prison for the purpose of God to be fulfilled. At the end of the day, despite all the waiting, he did not also go outside to ignore God's purpose and say, let me go and fight for my people. He would have missed his own glory and his own destiny. He still kept his faith and he still stayed connected to God at the end of the day, the promises made concerning Joseph came to what? To pass. Because he stayed what? Connected. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Martha and Miriam mm -hmm. also have to wait for the resurrection. You have to do what? Wait for the resurrection. For your brother that was in what? In the tomb. At the end of the day, the promise made was what? Was kept. It was fulfilled. Because they stay connected to who? To the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. While you are waiting, don't let the devil confuse your mind. While you are waiting, don't let the devil tell you God has forgotten you. God don't love you. Forget about it. Let's find ways to help ourselves. Brothers and sisters, it will prolong our glory, our blessing. You may be closer to your glory. You may be closer to your miracle. You may be closer to your deliverance. As soon as you step back, you are giving chance for the enemy to destroy what is about to happen. Because first place, you don't want me and you to smile. That's they don't want me and you to stand here and give testimony that the Lord have done it. Mm -hmm. It's finding ways and means to block it. Mm -hmm. But he, he cannot do it until he led me and you to push ourselves into his own camp. Mm -hmm. To enable him to accomplish the evil that he is intended to do to our life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Why the disciples also have to wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon them before they went out there to preach the good news to the poor, to the testy to the hungry, to the helpless, to the oppressed. They have to wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon them. Jesus said, go to the mountain. And when you get there, I'll come. And the Spirit of God shall be upon you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now, you and me, all of us, we are also waiting for the return of what? Jesus. Of Jesus Christ. Clap your hand for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And while we are all waiting, he said we should stay what? Connected. Amen. And we should not go outside his domain. To seek alternative. Mm -hmm. By doing so, you will destroy the blessing and the glory that the Lord has restored for you. Mm -hmm. Somebody open to the book of Lamentation. Mm -hmm. I'm running. Mm -hmm. Lamentation chapter 3, 24 to 26. I'm running. I'm almost done. Lamentation chapter yes. 3. Yes. Yes. Lamentation chapter 3, yes. yes verse, verse After Jeremiah. Yes. yes. Lamentation 3, 24 to 26. Please go yes. ahead. I say to myself. Please start from 23 for me. They, 23. They, they are new every morning. Amen. Start from 22. Yes. Because of the Lord's great love. Yes. We are not consumed. Because of the great love of the Lord, we are not consumed, we are not consumed by the spirit of the dark world that want to destroy your blessing. Amen. Amen. Because of the great love of the Lord, we are not consumed with the spirit of death. Can I hear hallelujah? hallelujah? Can I hear hallelujah? hallelujah? Because of the great love of God, some have overcome the spirit of cancer. Because of the great love of God, some was rushed to the hospital. And they were returned back home peacefully. Because of the great love of God, the crowd of darkness that came to consume your household, the Lord 
did not let it happen to you. Amen. Amen. Please continue. Amen. Verse 23, he said, verse 22, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. Amen. They are new every morning. They are what? They are new every morning. The compassion of the Lord. Never fail. Amen. They are new every morning. Mm -hmm. Great is your faithfulness. Yes. I say to myself, Amen. The Lord is my portion. Amen. Therefore, I will wait for him. Amen. The Lord is good to those who hope in him. Amen. To the one who seeks him. Mm -hmm. It is good to wait quietly. Amen. It is what? It is good to wait, 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 quietly. wait quietly. It means that while you are waiting, don't go and complain to a friend, mm -hmm. an auntie, mm -hmm. a brother. Mm -hmm. that, that God self. I don't know which thing is wrong with that God. Mm -hmm. This God self. I'm just, I just tired of it. They will say, where's our what? Power. 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 There are things that sometimes we say unconsciously, but that unconscious words, is delaying my blessing. He yeah, said, when you are waiting, wait what? Quiet. quiet. With the Lord. Yes. And put your hope in his way. Mm. And let your hope be. So don't pretend I'm waiting, but at the same time, my heart is not ready to wait to the end. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. So he said, it is good to wait quietly for the Lord. And while you are waiting quietly for the Lord, it's a let your spirit that is within you be connected to who? To the Lord. Yes. Let me give you one example. No money, woman, precious come. Come forward. Come forward. Now face the camera. Come, come and learn here, please. You know, women will often plants. Is it plants or plates? Plants. Plants. Plates. Plates. Thank you. Plate hair. Plate. Women are often plate their hair. The natural one, they take weak. They connect it, turn it left, right. And they do, they join them together. That when the wind blows, it does not blow the hair that is separate away. Just like this hair is plated. Mean it's joined. It's connected to what? To the natural hair. When me and you, our life is planted around God, we are connected around God. When the wind blows to consume us, because we are planted to the source of our blessing from beginning to the end, that wind will not consume you. Because you are connected. And because you are connected, it will not destroy you. Because the hand of God is upon you. That is why you are planted and connected and joined together that you know easily be what? Shaking. That is why I use this example. Yes. For all those who have plate their head, mm -hmm. the wind cannot just blow it. No. It's different from the one who has not done the head that is separated. Yeah. The wind can it just blow it somewhere. Yes. And they'll be looking for where the wind has come to. Yeah. And they'll ask, give me some my wind. <laughs> and they'll pretend I did not see it and they'll hide the way back. <laughs> because it's not plated together. Yes. It's not joined together to the original. Yeah. Women, talk to me. Am I speaking the right? Yes, Praise the Lord. Because our weed is not joined to the original head. Yes. But the one that is plated together with the original one, yes. you cannot separate it. Yes. You cannot what? Separate it. They are what? Plated together. They are joined together. They are connected together. Amen. That is how we and you and our life have to be. Amen. We need to be what? Plated around God. We need to what? Be connected around God. And in crisis, you will never fall. In crisis, it will rise against your enemies. In crisis, it will fight for you. It said, those that contend with you, the Lord will contend with them. When you are connected and blended together, the Lord will rise against your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. God bless you. Clap your hands for Jesus. That is why it said, the Lord never grow weary. When you are connected to him, he knows you in struggles, you are with him. He knows in pain, you are with him. And now we will say, 
You never went outside to seek for help. So now it is time for me also what? to fight for you. And I will fight for you in the morning. I will fight for you in the evening. I will fight for you in the night. I will fight for you in the going up. I will fight for you in your coming. Because I am the Lord thy God. The everlasting God. Omnipotent and omniscience. The beginning and the end. With God, all things are what? Possible in the name of Jesus Christ. They said the understanding of God, no man can foretell it because his understanding is great. It looks like the Lord is working against us, but no, 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 no. It's actually working for your own favor, but you are going to struggle. But it looks like the Lord is working against you, but it's working for our own favor. Say, all things work for good for them that trust in the Lord who are called according to what? To his purpose. Say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord is good. And all the time. That is why he used the word. Those that wait upon the Lord, the Lord shall renew their strength. He will give you new strength. I said he will give you new strength. The strength that you will soar on wings. You know if you're strong. Yes. If you can carry a whole human being. Yes. He said, when you give you a new strength, while everyone thinks that you are going down, Amen. you rise up you again. Rise up again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why do I think that you are no longer strong? Like you become more stronger than ever. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has given you a fresh blood, Amen. a fresh energy, oh, yes. and a fresh what? Spirit Amen. that is upon you to rise against the powers of darkness yes, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost! Ah, that is the God we serve. Oh, yes. We serve him with our strength oh, yes. and not with our mind. No. With what? Oh, our strength oh, and everything that is within us. Oh, yes. So when you give you a new strength, a new strength to carry on with life and living in it. Oh, yes. A new strength to overcome your enemies. A new strength to bound and to repeat. A new strength to cast and to the sword. And you say, I am coming for it. And the gate of hell, and the gate of hell will never, never prevail in the name of Jesus. And the devil will know this is a daughter of God. This is a child of God. That's not my anointed. Holy Ghost. That's not my anointed. Holy Ghost. That's not my anointed. And do my prophet know how. When the hand of God is upon you, when you are blessed with God, when you are connected with God, the enemy cannot pull you down. The enemy cannot bring you down. You shall rise. You shall rise like eagle because the hand of God is upon you. Holy Ghost! Put your hands together for Jesus. I am God. I am God. Praise the Lord. I am God. I've done my best. I've preached the good news. I've preached the good news. And I know the good news will spread out to the four corners of this earth. Oh, yeah. And so we should baptize them in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you are having a message today, it's be plated together, plated around what? God. Amen. Be connected with what? With God. A crisis. Yes. And the Lord shall fight for you. Yes. A struggle. And the Lord shall rescue you. Amen. A pain. And the Lord shall deliver you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't go outside God to seek alternative. No, 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 no. You are just wasting your time. Don't go outside God to seek for help. Be connected to God. To the end. As Noah did. As Sarah did. As Miriam did. As Martha did. As Joseph did. And they were all connected to God. And at the end of the day, their promise was fulfilled. That is the God that we serve. He is an everlasting God. He is a greater of the ends of the earth. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. God bless you all. Father, we thank you. We gave you glory for the reading, for the word that you have delivered to us profoundly. Let your people be blessed. Amen. Let your people be strengthened. Amen. Let your people be encouraged. Amen. Set them free from the spirit of doubt. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Set them free from the spirit of doubt. Amen. Set them free from the spirit of worries. Set them free from the spirit of confusion. Amen. And give them the spirit of hope. Amen. Belief. Amen. That they will be connected to you. Amen. That they will be planted, planted around you Amen. for all the days of your life. Amen. In crisis, Amen. in pain, Amen. In, in, in struggles, Amen. in the uncertainty, oh, yes. that they will put their hope in your word Amen. and trust in you, oh, yes. regardless of what comes before them. Oh, yes. Because you are indeed a great God. Oh, yes. Bless their going out. Amen. Bless their coming in. Amen. Bless their going out. Amen. Bless their coming in. Increase them. 
wanted by them. Let your will be done in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.